Hi, today we are going to look at how to add a bond to your ShareSide portfolio. And this is the same process to add any kind of fixed income investment, like treasury bills or term deposits. So the first thing you want to do is click on Add New Holding, and then you want to click on Add a Custom Investment. And the first thing it asks is for an investment code. Now this is for your own reference, and you just have to make sure that it has a unique code to your portfolio. So I'm going to give it in, uh, the investment code bond. Now investment name is just a descriptive name for that bond. That way you can easily find it later and understand what bond you're looking at. For this example, I am going to use the word bond as my investment name. For investment type, you want to choose fixed interest. And let's assume that my bond has a face value of $1,000 and a coupon rate of 10%, which would be very nice. Uh, for income type, we'll leave it as interest, but you have the option of adding it as a dividend payment. Um, payment frequency, let's have that as twice yearly. And let's set the first payment date as December 1st, 2017. And let's have a maturity date of December 31st, 2019. And I'm going to leave this uh, automatically calculate income as checked. Um, what that will do is get ShareSite to automatically calculate the interest payments on the correct date and add them to my ShareSite portfolio. Next, you have to select your country, uh, the bond country. So uh, mine is in Australia. And also, just so you know, um, I have an Australian portfolio, but if my bond happened to be from a different market, let's say the UK, what ShareSite would do is convert the sterling pounds into Australian dollars, and that way it can calculate currency fluctuations for me as well. All right, so trade date, let's say that I have invested in that bond on November 1st, 2017. And to keep it fit simple, I'm going to add quantity as one. And then the unit and share price, uh, let's just say that I paid the face value for my bond. But if you did pay more or less, you would add that. You would enter that price in here. And for brokerage, I'm just going to leave that blank. But if you did have any brokerage associated with this transaction, you would add that here. And then you just click on Save Trade. And then you've added your bond to your ShareSite portfolio. Now, uh, this takes you to your overview page. And if you did need to make any changes to that bond you just entered, you would click through to it here. See, it says bond. And you'll note that all the different details that you've put in for that bond will be on this page. Uh, now, any changes that you need to make, you would do it on the right hand column here. So, say that the face value was actually. 2000, you would click enter 2000 and then hit return or enter on your keyboard, and then it would update everything for you. Now, uh, it's good practice to look through your payments and make sure all the dates and amounts are correct. Now, ShareSite allows you to do that in bulk, uh, so you see this confirm automatic transactions. You would click on that and you should. In theory, go line by line and confirm everything is correct. Should you have to make any edits, you just click on the line that needs editing on the right. You click on edit, you make your changes, and then that's that. But if everything looks correct, and it does to me, you would click on confirm selection. And that is a process to add a bond to your ShareSite portfolio. Thank you for watching.